Hi guys, you're tuned in to another episode of the Midnight Prayer Podcast. Follow us on all social media platforms at I Am Church London. And don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe on all major streaming platforms. May God bless you. Shalom everyone, welcome to the Midnight Prayer Podcast. This is I Am Church London and I am your host brother Kevin. Thank you very much for joining us. I welcome you all in the name of Jesus. Kindly share the stream, kindly share the links to all your families and friends. Invite them into the presence of the Lord so they can come and pray. Thank you all for joining us. You can follow, save and download this podcast on all your favourite streaming platforms. So I'm going to do the opening prayer so we can begin. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We thank you for this day that you have made. We shall rejoice and we shall be glad within it. We thank you, Father, for your word says to us where two or three are gathered in your name, you will be there in their midst. We invite you, Holy Spirit, to come and take control. We plead for your blood to cover us, Lord. We pray, Heavenly Father, for your protection. We bind and we destroy every spirit which may be mandated against this intercession. Every spirit which may be mandated against our homes. We cast it outside in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, visit us. Holy Spirit, deliver us, restore us, bless us and heal us in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray for your kingdom to come and for your will to be done. Transform our lives for the glory of your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Shalom to you all. Welcome to the Midnight Prayer Podcast. So today we're going to focus on covenants. We're going to look at how covenants attack the children of God and how we can detect the presence of a spiritual battle that may be coming from a covenant or an agent. So I wanted to bring to someone's attention today. When the enemy wages war against us, when covenants attack us, the enemy likes to blind us to the importance of spiritual warfare. The enemy likes to make us ignorant to spiritual matters. The enemy likes us to overlook and minimise the seriousness of the spiritual attacks that they send to us daily, nightly, weekly, monthly, yearly. The enemy likes us to basically just turn the blind eye, basically. So this is what we're going to look at in particular today. If we open Isaiah chapter 6, verses 10. Isaiah chapter 6, verses 10. I'm going to read the... NLT version. Harden the hearts of these people, plug their ears and shut their eyes. That way they will not see with their eyes, nor hear with their ears, nor understand with their hearts, and turn to me for healing. The ESV version says, Make the heart of these people dull and their ears heavy, and blind their eyes, lest they see with their eyes and hear with their ears, and understand with their hearts and turned and be healed. The Berrian Standard Bible says, Make the hearts of this people calloused, deafen their ears and close their eyes, otherwise they might see with their eyes, hear with their ears, understand with their hearts, and turn and be healed. When the enemy is waging war against us, when covenants are attacking us, our houses, our families, the enemy likes to remove that idea that can lead to us understanding that they're attacking us. The enemy likes to send doubt, keep us confused. So we're sure, we're not sure, one minute we're sure, but then we're just like, nah, nothing, there's nothing there. The enemy likes to target the heart. The enemy likes to transform the heart into stone. When the heart is transformed into stone, it becomes heavy. As a result, it can also become stubborn. It can also become very disobedient. Ezekiel 36, 26 says, I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit within you. I will remove your heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. If you read Proverbs chapter 4, verse 23, the NLT version says, Guard your heart above all else, for it determines the course of your life. The NIV version says, Above all else, guard your heart, for everything you do flows from it. The English Standard Version says, Keep your heart with all vigilance, for from it flows the springs of life. So if we go back to Isaiah 6.10, it shows us that the enemy is able to plug the ears, close the eyes, remove any thought which can push us to gain awareness or to have understanding. This indicates that the enemy is able to steal your eyes, steal your ears, steal your heart. Some people's eyes, it may open. They may be able to discern, put two and two together, but it will only be for a small amount of time. So they might become enlightened on something which is not right. But then after realising and discerning that this thing is not right, they just brush it off. They just forget about it. They just go back into the dark. This is a sign 
of manipulation and domination. But you must declare that my soul will not be dominated in the name of Jesus. My soul will not be manipulated in the name of Jesus. When doing spiritual warfare, always declare, always do declarations. Declare over your soul. I won't be dominated. I won't be manipulated. Isaiah 49 verses 9 says, I will say to the prisoners, come out in freedom. And to those in darkness, come into the light. They will be my sheep grazing in green pastures and on hills that were previously bare. So if we link this back to Isaiah 6.10, it basically shows us the spiritual state of prisoners. Someone whose eyes are covered. They can't see. There's no direction. They don't know where they are. They don't know what they're doing. They don't know where to go. They're basically in one place. Someone whose ears are covered. You can't have any communion with them. They're alone. They can't hear anything. Someone whose heart has been transformed into stone. If we look at John chapter 10 verses 27, the word of God says, My sheep listen to my voice. I know them and they follow me. So in order for the enemy to keep us in prisons, in order for these soul ties to remain strong, in order for these covenants to continue to manipulate and dominate us, all spiritual senses have to be closed off. And in that way, you will have no idea what is happening to you. So we have different categories of people here. Some people, the enemy will allow them to see. And there's some that the enemy will not allow them to see at all. Yeah, These are the people that probably have prayer lives and the people who do not have any kind of prayer life. And there's others that the enemy will still allow them to see, but the enemy will withdraw the strength for them to fight back and defend themselves. The enemy can also steal one's faith just so that they can remain discouraged. And they won't believe that God will deliver them or that they themselves, if they pray, they can overpower the spirit that fights them. The word of God says in Luke 10 from verses 18, when Jesus sent out his disciples, he said to them, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. Behold, I have given you authority to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall hurt you. So when doing spiritual warfare, always say these verses. These verses are very, very good even whilst praying. There are others whose ears have been closed. Any advice you give them for their own benefit, they won't listen. But when you come to them with stupid things, foolishness, that's when their ears open wide so they can listen. So they only have time for things that don't make sense. We all know at least one person who is like this. Just pray for them before it's too late. There are people also, the more you give them advice, the more foolish they act. So if you say to them, ah, don't go to that place, they go. So everything that you say to them, they have to do the opposite. That's the way they function. Isaiah 6.10 shows us basically in spiritual warfare, our hearts can be hardened. Our hearts can be transformed into stone. We can be blindfolded and we can have our ears plugged. So for someone to really gain awareness of the spiritual warfare that's happening to them, they have to be preached to. But the main problem when it comes to preaching is just listening. We have people who listen to understand, which is good. And we have people who only listen so they can criticize and then respond. Because when the enemy closes your eyes, your ears and the enemy hardens your heart they can preach something to you that could help you but you will take it in the wrong way everything you hear you will take it out of context so you have difficulty with understanding things this also creates a lack of accountability this thing here you can hear preaching but you always like to divert it to other people you like you just push it away ah oh, this this advice is good for that person it's good for that person over there but it's not good for you this is a sign there's a spirit or an alliance attacking you there are bewitchments that are designed to keep your ears closed to everything good someone can tell you there are also bewitchments that close the eyes so you cannot see the effects of what's happening to you others might see it but not you let's look at for instance in exodus 32 when the children of god created the gold calf so god explicitly gave them his 10 commandments he said to them, you must not have any other God before me. But in Exodus 32, they created a gold calf. This rebelliousness, this stubbornness comes from bewitchments. In Galatians chapter 3, the word of God says, Oh, you foolish Galatians, who has casted an evil spell upon you? So bewitchments is something that the enemy loves to use to manipulate people. When a covenant is attacking a house, it can make people clash. It also causes division. Let's look at two groups, for example, the people who can see and those who can't see. So the vigilant, observant, prayerful people, 
and the distracted people. Ah, you lot and your prayers every day. Pray, pray, pray. Demons, 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 demons. See, things like this is what happens basically when covenants are attacking a house. There are people, even if they see things going wrong in their house, they'll always see it as normal. So the enemy's giving them like this type of faith, like, but it's not from God. So they just brush everything off. They just brush it under the carpet. Ah, yeah, it will pass. They won't pray, by the way. They don't have time to pray or anything like that. They won't do anything about it. Now, the enemy will make the people that pray feel as if they're carrying the whole world's weight on their shoulders just so that they can stop praying. Now, one needs to ask themselves, how can I detect if a covenant or a spiritual battle is happening in my life or in my home or in my children? One also needs to ask themselves, do I listen to the word of God or am I somebody who always questions it? Do I understand the word of God? When people give me advice, do I put it into practice? These simple questions will help us discover the state our hearts are in. The word of God says in Proverbs 23 verse 26, it says, Oh my son, give me your heart. May your eyes take delight in following my ways. So these are simple questions that we must always ask ourselves. And this will also help us do our spiritual warfare properly. So let's get ready and pray. Kindly like, share and subscribe. Dearly beloved, kindly share the stream, kindly share the links with all your family and friends. Invite someone to come and join us in the presence of the Lord. Thank you for all of you who have joined us for the first time. This is the Midnight Prayer Podcast by I Am Church London and I am your host, Brother Kevin. So let's all get ready and let's pray. So begin to thank the Lord. Begin to praise and celebrate his holy name. Begin to exalt him and give him glory. Begin to give him allegiance and acclamation. Father in heaven, creator of the heavens and the earth, we praise and we celebrate your name. We exalt your name, Father, and we glorify your name. We magnify your name, Father, and we lift your name on high. You alone, you are God. You alone, you are the king in front on high. You alone, you are the Alpha and your Omega, the beginning and the ending, the first and the last. Blessed be your holy name. Blessed be your righteous name. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for this day that you have made. We shall rejoice, Father, and we shall be glad within it. Dearly beloved, thank the Lord for the breath of life he has given to you. Thank the Lord for the protection that he has given to you. Thank the Lord for his mercy, his compassion, his unfailing love in your life. Thank the Lord for the overwhelming victory he has given to you in Christ Jesus. Praise and celebrate his holy name. Show him how grateful and how thankful you are. Show him how appreciative you are, even for the small things that he has given to you. Lift him up and give him glory. Praise him, worship him, and glorify him, magnify him. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you. Thank you for your divine intervention. Thank you for your faithful promises, which is my armor and my protection. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for your free gift of salvation that you have given to me. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for your word, Father, which is alive. Your word, which is powerful. Your word which is active, your word which is sharper than any two-edged sword. I bless and celebrate your holy name. I exalt and I glorify your righteous name. I give allegiance to your powerful name. I give honor and give glory, Almighty God, to your holy name. In the name of Jesus Christ, thank you, Heavenly Father, for my life. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for my family. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for all those that you have protected, all those you have preserved around me. Blessed be your holy name. Blessed be your righteous name. Blessed be your glorious name, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, daily beloved, begin to pray and ask for the Lord to have mercy upon you in the name of Jesus. Ask for him to forgive you for your sins, your iniquities and transgressions, everything that you've done which never confessed his holy name, everything that you've done which never gave allegiance to his righteous name, everything that you've done which was against his word. Ask him to forgive you for your sins in the name of Jesus. Father in heaven, have compassion upon us. Father in heaven, have mercy upon us in the name of Jesus Christ. Your word says that you are a compassionate God. You are a merciful God. You are slow to get angry. You are filled with unfailing love in the mighty name of jesus heavenly father forgive us for our wrongdoings forgive us for our sins and our iniquities and our transgressions forgive us almighty god for everything that we've done which never celebrated your name for everything that we've done which never gave glory to your
holy name for everything that we've done which never celebrated your righteous name forgive us almighty God in the mighty name of Jesus your word says great is your faithfulness and your mercy begins afresh each and every single morning your word says to us heavenly father that you are a compassionate God you are a merciful God you are slow to get angry you are filled with unfailing love we pray for your unfailing love to come down in our lives we pray for your unfailing love in our families we pray for your unfailing love in our homes in our entourages we pray heavenly father for your unfailing love in our churches in the mighty name of jesus forgive us almighty god for our sins and our iniquities and our transgressions lord in the mighty name of jesus your word says father that those who hide their transgressions they will not prosper but those who turn away from them and abandon them they shall find mercy before your sight father in the mighty name of jesus forgive us for the sinful nature the lust of the flesh the worldly desires the impurities and the immoralities the anger the bitterness the cupidity the greed and the rage everything that we've done we shall never confess your name father have mercy upon us in the mighty name of jesus your words is if we confess our sins you'll be faithful and you'll be just father to forgive us for our sins and to cleanse us from our wickedness dearly beloved plead and pray for the lord to have mercy upon you plead and pray for the lord to forgive you for your sins and iniquities in the mighty name of jesus the word of god says without the shedding of blood there is no forgiveness of sins father in heaven creator of the heavens and earth we plead for the blood of christ to come down upon us in the name of jesus for your word says heavenly father without the shedding of blood there is no forgiveness of sins for your word says heavenly father we were washed we were sanctified and we were justified in the name of our lord jesus christ and the spirit of our god in the name of jesus father in heaven cleanse us father in heaven sanctify us father in heaven purify us father in heaven wash us for him repeatedly in the mighty name of jesus cleanse us your children in the mighty name of jesus make us whiter than snow father in the mighty name of jesus your word says father in heaven wash me clean from my guilt purify me from my sins in the name of jesus daily beloved plead for the blood of christ to cleanse you and to remove all uncleanliness that is inside of you all impurity all immorality that is inside of you that is attached to you pray for the blood of jesus to sanctify you in the name of jesus pray for the blood of jesus to make you whiter than snow in the name of jesus pray for the blood of jesus to remove everything that is not of god that is inside of you in the name of jesus the word of god says purify me from my sins so i can be clean wash me and i'll be whiter than snow plead for the blood of christ 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 the word of god says now we are united with christ jesus once we were far away from god but now we have been brought near to him through the blood of christ plead for the blood of jesus to cleanse and sanctify you in the name of jesus plead for the blood of jesus to wash you in the mighty name of jesus plead for the blood of jesus to sanctify you daily beloved plead for the blood of christ the word of course is in him we have redemption through his blood the forgiveness of our sins in the name of jesus father in heaven creator of the heavens and earth sanctify us your children make us whiter than snow purify us almighty god cleanse us lord in the mighty name of jesus plead for the blood of christ daily beloved plead for the blood of christ daily beloved plead for the blood of christ daily beloved in the mighty name of jesus the word of god says he is so rich in kindness and grace that he purchased our freedom with the blood of his son and he forgave our sins plead for the blood of jesus to cleanse and sanctify you to wash you thoroughly and repeatedly to cleanse and sanctify you to wash you thoroughly and repeatedly in the mighty name of jesus begin to invite the holy spirit to come and take control in the name of jesus begin to invite the holy spirit to manifest his power in the name of jesus begin to invite the holy spirit to come and reign and to come and rule in your life in the name of jesus begin to invite the holy spirit to come down and take control in the name of jesus the word of god says and i'll send the holy spirit just as the father promised her. but stay here in the city until the holy spirit comes and fills you up with power from heaven holy spirit fill us with your power from heaven holy spirit fill us with your authority from heaven holy spirit fill us with your domination from heaven holy spirit fill us with your intelligence with your wisdom from heaven holy spirit fill us with your insight your discernment from heaven in the name of jesus holy spirit fill us with your revelation from heaven in the name of jesus holy spirit we invite you to take control in the name of jesus your word says father let the holy spirit guide your lives holy spirit guide our lives holy spirit guide our lives in the name of jesus holy spirit guide us to your victory in the name of jesus holy spirit guide us into all truth in the name of jesus holy spirit guide us into your light in the name of jesus holy spirit we invite you come and take control in the name of jesus christ come and take control in the name of jesus christ come and take control 
in the name of Jesus Christ come and take control in the name of Jesus Christ your word says we will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon us and we will be your witnesses telling people about you everywhere from Jerusalem to Judea to Samaria to the ends of the earth in the name of Jesus spirit of truth spirit of understanding spirit of wisdom spirit of insight spirit of knowledge manifest your power manifest your power manifest your power in the name of Jesus dearly beloved ask for the Holy Spirit to manifest his power in your life in the name of Jesus ask for the Holy Spirit to manifest his power in your life in the name of Jesus ask for the Holy Spirit to manifest his power in your family in your home in the name of Jesus Holy Spirit take control Holy Spirit reign Holy Spirit rule Holy Spirit dominate in the name of Jesus begin to deprogram every plan of the enemy every project that the enemy has lined up every conspiracy that is happening begin to cancel it begin to deprogram it begin to annihilate it begin to avoid it in the name of Jesus the word of God says listen I receive the command to bless God has blessed and I cannot reverse it no misfortune is in his plan for Jacob and no trouble is in store for Israel in the name of Jesus Christ begin to deprogram every work of the enemy begin to deprogram begin to cancel every activity which does not confess the name of Jesus Christ begin to cancel every programmation which has taken place in the rivers in the forest in the cemeteries in the mountains in the deserts the hills in the heavens cancel those works in the name of Jesus Christ the word of God says no curse can touch Jacob and no magic has any power against Israel in the mighty name of Jesus the word of God says in that coming day no weapon formed against us shall prosper the word of God says that I will silence every loud voice raised up to accuse you in the name of Jesus the word of God says that he will silence every loud voice raised up to accuse us deprogram deprogram every plan of the enemy in the name of Jesus every plan that the enemy has arranged every plan the enemy is preparing against you declare in the name of Jesus thus says the Lord God it shall not stand nor shall it come to pass it shall not stand nor shall it come to pass it shall not stand nor shall it come to pass it shall not stand nor shall it come to pass it shall not stand nor shall it come to pass it shall not stand nor shall it come to pass it shall not stand nor shall it come to pass it shall not stand nor shall it come to pass it shall not stand nor shall it come to pass it shall not stand nor shall it come to pass it shall not stand nor shall it come to pass it shall not stand nor shall it come to pass cancel those works deprogram those works in the name of Jesus the word of God says take counsel together but you'll come to nothing speak the word for it will not stand for God is with us sir. do you program every plan of the enemy in the name of Jesus sir. everything that the enemy has programmed everything that the enemy has arranged cancel it in the name of Jesus sir. 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 every programmation of stagnation of repeated failures every programmation of history repeating itself negatively every programmation of sickness terminal illness critical illnesses every programmation of sudden death every programmation of poverty every programmation of prolonged poverty every programmation of debt every programmation of prolonged unemployment cancel those works deprogram those works declare it void declare it void in the name of Jesus the word of God says from six disasters he will rescue us even from the seventh he will keep us away from evil cancel those works deprogram those works in the mighty name of Jesus cancel those works deprogram those works in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus cancel those works daily beloved cancel those works daily beloved cancel those works daily beloved in the name of Jesus Christ cancel those works daily beloved in the name of Jesus Christ begin to pray I am renouncing from every covenant established in the kingdom of darkness between my soul and the serpent between my soul and spirits of witchcraft between my soul and water spirits between my soul and spirits of Sheol between my soul and spirits from the world of the dead between my soul and animal spirits every covenant established in the kingdom of darkness which controls me which manipulates me which dominates me which is imprisoning me I declare in the name of Jesus sir, that covenant is broken in Jesus name 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 every soul tie established in the kingdom of darkness between my soul and water spirits between my soul and animal spirits between my soul and spirits from the forest between my soul and spirits from the waters between my soul and spirits from the world of the dead between my soul and spirits of death I break that soul tie in the name of Jesus I break that soul tie in the name of Jesus I break that soul
soul tie in the name of Jesus renounce from that covenant renounce from that covenant renounce from that alliance renounce from that covenant renounce that covenant in the name of Jesus reject that covenant in the name of Jesus every covenant that has been established every covenant that has been made in my place in my name in my absence I declare in the name of Jesus I renounce that covenant in the name of Jesus I reject that covenant in the name of Jesus I reject that covenant in the name of Jesus I reject that covenant in the name of Jesus and I declare that my soul will not serve that covenant my soul will not serve that covenant my soul will not serve that covenant my soul will not be manipulated or controlled or dominated or imprisoned or influenced by that covenant in the name of Jesus I reject that covenant in the name of Jesus Christ I reject every curse from that covenant I reject every condemnation from that covenant I reject every law that is attached to that covenant I reject every prison that is attached to that covenant in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I renounce that covenant I renounce that covenant dearly beloved renounce that covenant the word of God says you must worship the Lord your God and serve him only in the name of Jesus renounce that covenant renounce that covenant renounce that covenant refuse that covenant in the name of Jesus declare that my soul will not serve that covenant 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 my soul will not be a slave to that covenant in the name of Jesus renounce that covenant in the name of Jesus every covenant every soul tie every alliance established in the kingdom of darkness between my soul and the serpent I renounce that covenant in the name of Jesus Christ I renounce that covenant in the name of Jesus Christ every covenant which was done in my name which was done in my place which was done in my absence I renounce that covenant in the mighty name of Jesus I renounce that covenant in the mighty name of Jesus the word of God says in Galatians 3 verses 29 and now that you belong to Christ you are the true children of Abraham you are his heirs and God's promise to Abraham belongs to you in the name of Jesus Christ declare that you are an heir to the promises that God has given to Abraham in the name of Jesus Christ declare that you are an heir to the promises that God has given to Abraham in the name of Jesus Christ declare that you belong to Christ declare that you belong to Christ declare that you belong to Christ in the name of Jesus declare that you belong to Christ in the name of Jesus declare that you belong to Christ in the name of Jesus declare that you belong to Christ in the name of Jesus the word of God says in Acts chapter 3 verses 25 you are the children of the prophets and you are included in the covenant God promised your ancestors for God said to Abraham for your descendants all the families on earth will be blessed declare in the name of Jesus Christ that I am an heir to the promises that God has given to Abraham in the name of Jesus Christ declare that I am a child of the prophets and I'm included in the covenant God promised to Abraham I'm included in the covenant God promised to Abraham I'm an heir to the covenant that God promised to Abraham I'm a beneficiary to the covenant that God promised to Abraham in the name of Jesus 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 renounce every covenant which is tying your soul to the spirits in the in the water renounce every covenant that is tying your soul that is attaching your soul to the spirits of the world of the dead renounce every covenant that is attaching your soul to the spirits of witchcraft I renounce those covenants I renounce those covenants I renounce those covenants I renounce those covenants in the name of Jesus every blood covenant every blood alliance that is attaching my soul to spirits that are in the forest I renounce that covenant I renounce those blood ties I renounce those soul ties in the name of Jesus I refuse to be attached to those spirits I refuse to be connected to those spirits I refuse to be in communion with those spirits in the name of Jesus I refuse that communion I refuse I refuse that communion. I refuse that communion. I refuse that communion. I refuse that communion in the name of Jesus. I refuse that communion in the name of Jesus. I refuse that communion in the name of Jesus. I refuse that communion in the name of Jesus. I refuse that communion. I refuse that communion. I refuse that communion. I refuse that communion in the name of Jesus. Refuse that communion. Refuse that communion. Refuse that communion. Refuse that communion in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Reject it in the name of Jesus Christ reject it in the name of Jesus Christ reject it in the name of Jesus Christ the word of God says let not my soul enter their council let not my honor be united to their assembly in the name of Jesus the word of God says in the name of Jesus Christ have no fellowship with the fruitless deeds of darkness but rather expose them in the name of Jesus Christ reject that covenant in the name of Jesus renounce that communion in the name of Jesus reject it turn it down decline it in the name of Jesus decline it in the name of Jesus decline
decline it in the name of Jesus. 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 Decline every spiritual covenant, every soul tie, every blood tie established in the kingdom of darkness between your soul and the serpent. Refuse it in the name of Jesus. Turn it down. Decline it in the name of Jesus. Declare my soul will not be attached to the serpent. My soul will not be attached to water spirits. My soul will not be attached to the spirits of the world of the dead. My soul will not be attached to witchcraft spirits, spirits of animals, spirits of humans, spirits of the dead. I refuse that covenant in the name of Jesus. I refuse those covenants in the name of Jesus. I turn down those covenants in the name of Jesus. I turn down those covenants in the name of Jesus. Ask for the Holy Spirit to manifest his power. Holy Spirit manifest your 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 power. In the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit manifest your power. In the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit manifest your power. In the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit manifest your power. In the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit manifest your power. Spirit of Jesus Christ. Manifest your power. Spirit of Jesus Christ. Manifest your power. Your word says Father in heaven. So if the sun sets you free. You are truly free indeed. Spirit of Jesus Christ. Manifest your power. 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 In the name of Jesus. Manifest your power. In the name of Jesus. Declare that I belong to Christ and Christ belongs to God. Declare in the name of Jesus. I belong to Christ and Christ belongs to God. In the name of Jesus. Declare my soul will not be manipulated. My soul will not be dominated. My soul will not be controlled. My soul will not be imprisoned. In the name of Jesus. The word of course is in him. I have redemption through his blood and the forgiveness of my sins. The word of God says he will forgive my wickedness and he will never ever 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 again remember my sins. In the name of Jesus. The word of God says I was washed. I was sanctified and I was justified in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ and the spirit of our God. The word of God says to all who believed him and accepted him he gave them the right to become children of God. Declare my soul belongs to Christ. 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 Begin to pray every covenant blindfolding me. Every covenant plugging my ears. Every covenant hardening my heart in my father's house, in my mother's house, in the house of the covenants. I break that covenant in the name of Jesus. I break that covenant in the name of Jesus. I break that covenant in the name of Jesus. I break that covenant in the name of Jesus. Every covenant blindfolding me, every covenant plugging my ears, every covenant hardening my heart in the river, in the forest, in the cemetery, in the mountains, in the deserts, in the grave, in the air, in the heavens. I break that covenant in the name of Jesus. I break that covenant in the name of Jesus. I break that covenant in the name of Jesus. I break that covenant in the name of Jesus. I break that covenant in the name of Jesus. Dearly beloved, break that covenant by the power of the blood of the Lamb. Every covenant which is blindfolding you, break that covenant in the name of Jesus Christ. Break that covenant in the name of Jesus Christ. Every covenant in the house that I grew up in, every covenant in the house that I was born, that is blindfolding me, that is blindfolding me, that is plugging my ears, that is hardening my heart. I break that covenant by the power of the blood of the Lamb. I break that covenant by the power of the blood of the Lamb. I break that covenant by the power of the blood of the Lamb. I break that covenant by the power of the blood of the Lamb. I break that covenant by the power of the blood of the Lamb. In the name of Jesus, every witchcraft covenant, every water covenant that is blindfolding me, that is plugging my ears, that is hardening my heart, I declare, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, may that covenant be broken by the power of the blood of the Lamb. In the name of Jesus, may that covenant be broken. 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 In the name of Jesus, may that covenant be broken. 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 In the name of Jesus, may that covenant be broken. In the name of Jesus, pray daily, beloved. Wherever my eyes have been blindfolded, wherever my ears have been plugged, wherever my heart has been hardened, wherever my heart has been stolen, I release it in the name of Jesus. I release it in the name of Jesus. I release.
release it from that prison in the name of Jesus. I release it from that prison in the name of Jesus. I release it from that prison in the name of Jesus. I release it from that prison in the name of Jesus. I release it from that prison in the name of Jesus. I release it from that prison in the name of Jesus. I release it from that prison in the name of Jesus. Daily beloved, release your eyes, release your ears, release your heart wherever it has been stolen, wherever it has been stolen, wherever it is manipulated, release it in the name of Jesus, 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 release it in the name of Jesus. Jesus. The word of God says, come to me with your ears wide open, listen and you will find life. I will make an everlasting covenant with you and I will give you the unfailing love. I promise to David, declare in the name of Jesus, wherever my ears have been plugged, I declare in the name of Jesus Christ, I unplug my ears and I command my ears to come out of prison in the name of Jesus. I command my ears to come out of prison in the name of Jesus. Wherever my ears have been plugged, wherever my ears have been stolen, wherever my ears have been buried so I can lack understanding. I declare freedom on my ears. I declare freedom on my ears. I declare freedom on my ears in the name of Jesus. I declare freedom on my ears in the name of Jesus. I declare freedom on my ears in the name of Jesus Christ. Daily beloved, release your ears from every prison that he has been taken to every prison where your ears are plugged declare in the name of Jesus I unplug my ears by the power of the blood of the lamb I unplug my ears by the power of the blood of the lamb I restore my spiritual senses in the name of Jesus I restore my spiritual senses in the name of Jesus I restore my spiritual senses in the name of Jesus daily beloved release your ears release your eyes release your heart in the name of Jesus 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 the word of God says my eyes will be open and my ears attentive to every prayer made in this place the word of God says open my eyes to see the wonderful truths in your instructions pray dearly beloved in the name of Jesus Christ wherever I have been blindfolded wherever my ears have been plugged wherever my heart has been hardened I release it from that prison I release it from that prison. 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 In the name of Jesus, the Son of God came to destroy the works of the devil. I declare freedom in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare freedom in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare freedom in the name of Jesus Christ. The word of God says, in the name of Jesus, soon all your captives will be released. Imprisonment, starvation and death will not be your fate. In the name of Jesus, declare freedom in the mighty name of Jesus. The word of God says it is for freedom that Christ has set us free declare freedom in the name of Jesus the word of God says I will say to the prisoners come out in freedom and to those in darkness come into the light there will be my sheep grazing in green pastures and on hills that were previously bare in the name of Jesus uh, declare freedom declare freedom declare freedom declare freedom in the name of Jesus declare freedom declare freedom declare freedom declare freedom declare freedom in the name of Jesus declare freedom in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus declare freedom 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 in the name of Jesus wherever my eyes have been blindfolded through bewitchments wherever my ears have been plugged through bewitchments wherever my heart has been hardened through bewitchments in my father's house in my mother's house in the house I was born in the house I grew up in in the house of covenants I release my eyes in the name of Jesus Christ I release my ears in the name of Jesus Christ. I release my heart in the name of Jesus Christ. I release it in the name of Jesus. 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 The word of God says, and you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free in the name of Jesus Christ. The word of God says, so if the sun sets you free, you are truly free. Declare freedom, declare freedom, declare freedom, declare freedom, declare freedom in the name of Jesus. Spirit of God, manifest your power. Spirit of Jesus Christ, manifest your power, manifest your power, manifest your power, manifest your power, manifest your power in the name of Jesus. Your word says, Lord, for the Lord is the Spirit, and wherever the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, manifest your power, manifest your power, manifest your power, manifest your power, manifest your power in the mighty name of Jesus. Manifest your power in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray, dearly beloved, I set my eyes free from every spiritual veil in the name of Jesus Christ. I set my eyes free from every spiritual veil in the name of Jesus Christ every veil covering my
our eyes through covenants, through bewitchments. I command a veil to receive fire, 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 to receive fire. In the name of Jesus, I set my eyes free from every spiritual covenant. In the name of Jesus Christ, I set my eyes free from every spiritual covenant. In the name of Jesus Christ, daily beloved, remove the veil, 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 every veil that's keeping you in the dark, every veil which is stopping you from seeing at a distance, every veil which is stopping you from having revelations, remove that veil in the name of Jesus, 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 remove that veil, remove that veil, remove that veil, remove that veil in the name of Jesus, remove that veil in the name of Jesus, every spiritual veil that's covering my eyes through bewitchments, through enchantments, through covenants, I command that veil to receive fire, 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 to receive fire in the name of Jesus, to receive fire in the name of Jesus, to receive fire in the name of Jesus. Ezekiel 13 verse 21 says, I will tear off the magic veils and save my people from your grasp. They will no longer be your victims. Then you will know that I am the Lord in the name of Jesus. I remove that veil in the name of Jesus. I remove that veil in the name of Jesus. I remove that veil in the name of Jesus. I remove that veil in the name of Jesus. The word of God says in the second book of Corinthians 3 verses 16, but whenever someone turns to the Lord, but whenever someone turns to the Lord, the veil is taken away. Dearly beloved, remove every spiritual veil that is covering your eyes in your father's house, in your mother's house, every spiritual veil that is covering your eyes in the house you was born in, in the house that you grew up in, in the house of covenants. Remove that veil in the name of Jesus. 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 Burn that veil by fire. Burn that veil by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Burn that veil by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. The word of God says, but the people's minds were hardened. And to this day, whenever the old covenant is being read, the same veil covers their minds so that they cannot understand the truth. And this veil can only be removed by believing in Christ. Remove that veil. Remove that veil. Remove that veil. Remove that veil in the name of Jesus. Burn that veil by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Burn up that veil. Burn up that veil. Burn that veil by fire in the name of Jesus. Remove that veil 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 in the name of Jesus Christ. Remove that veil. Remove that veil in the mighty name of Jesus. Burn that veil up by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Burn that veil up by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Remove that veil in the 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 name of Jesus. Command that veil to be torn into pieces, to be torn into shreds in the name of Jesus. Command that veil to be torn into pieces, into pieces in the name of Jesus. Command that veil to be torn into pieces in the name of Jesus. Remove that veil in the name of Jesus Christ. Remove that veil in the name of Jesus Christ. Every spiritual veil that is covering your eyes through covenants, through bewitchments, burn it by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray, dearly beloved, whose veil has covered my eyes so I cannot see whose veil from my father's house, from my mother's house, from the house that I grew up in, from the house of the covenants that has covered my eyes so I cannot see, so I cannot understand. Pray in the name of Jesus. Whoever that veil belongs to, may it receive fire, may it receive fire, may it receive fire, may it receive fire, whose soul are you attached to, who are you attached to spiritually, who are you in communion with spiritually, who allows you to see what they want you to see, who allows you to understand what only they want you to understand, burn their veil in the name of Jesus, burn that veil in the name of Jesus, command that veil to receive fire, command that veil to receive fire, command that veil to receive fire in the name of Jesus, command that veil to receive fire in the mighty name of Jesus, the word of God says every plant not planted by my heavenly father will be uprooted command that veil to receive fire in the name of Jesus the word of God says behold they shall be a stubble the fire shall burn them they shall not deliver themselves from the power of the flame command that veil to receive fire 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 in the name of Jesus command that veil to receive fire command that veil to receive fire command that veil to receive fire in the name of Jesus command that veil to receive fire in the name of Jesus, command that veil to receive fire. In the name of Jesus, command that veil to receive fire. Command that veil to receive 
fire. Command that veil to receive fire. In the name of Jesus, pray daily, beloved. I set my heart free. I set my eyes free. I set my ears free from every power of bewitchments. In the name of Jesus, I set my heart free from every power of bewitchments. In the name of Jesus, I set my eyes free from every power of bewitchments. In the name of Jesus, I set my ears free from every power of bewitchments. In the name of Jesus, the word of God says, I will put an end to all witchcraft and there'll be no more fortune tellers. In the name of Jesus, the word of God says, in that coming day, no weapon formed against me shall succeed. I will silence every loud voice raised up to accuse you. These are the benefits that are enjoyed by the servants of the Lord. Our vindication comes from him. In the name of Jesus, set your heart free, set your eyes free, set your ears free from every power of bewitchment. In the name of Jesus, the word of God says, no curse can touch Jacob and no magic has any power against Israel. Set your heart free, set your eyes free, set your ears free. In the name of Jesus, set your heart free, set your eyes free, set your ears free. In the name of Jesus, 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 pray dearly beloved, every power of bewitchments which is mandated to confuse you, which is mandated to keep you in doubt, which is mandated to keep you confused, set yourself free from that power in the name of Jesus, detach your soul from that power in the name of Jesus, detach your soul from that power, detach your soul from that power, detach your soul from that power, detach your soul soul from that power detach your soul from that power in the name of Jesus detach your soul from that power in the name of Jesus detach your soul from that power in the name of Jesus detach your soul from that power in the name of Jesus detach your soul from that power in the name of Jesus detach your soul detach your soul detach your soul from that power in the name of Jesus detach your soul from that power in the name of Jesus detach your soul from that power in the name of Jesus detach your soul from that power in the name of Jesus the word of God says have no fellowship with the fruitless deeds of darkness but rather expose them in the name of Jesus every power of bewitchments every power of enchantments from witchcraft from the waters from the world of the dead from the world of the dead from the world of the dead that confuses me that keeps me in doubt I set myself free from those powers in the name of Jesus the word of God says I've given you authority over the serpent over the scorpion over every power of the enemy detach your soul from that power 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 in the mighty name of Jesus detach your soul from that power detach your soul from that power detach your soul from that power in the name of Jesus Christ detach your soul from that power in the mighty name of Jesus detach your soul from that power detach your soul from that power in the mighty name of Jesus detach your soul from that power in the mighty name of Jesus every power of bewitchments which confuses me which manipulates my heart which manipulates my eyes which manipulates my ears I set myself free from that power in the mighty name of Jesus the word of God says I will crush fierce lions and cobras I will trample fierce lions and serpents underneath my feet underneath my feet underneath my feet underneath my feet set yourself free set yourself free detach your soul from that power in the name of Jesus detach your soul from that power in the name name of Jesus detach your soul from that power in the name of Jesus detach your soul from that power in the name of Jesus detach your soul from that power in the name of Jesus detach your soul from that power in the name of Jesus detach your soul from that power in the name of Jesus detach your soul from that power in the name of Jesus pray daily beloved every power of enchantments that has plugged my eyes that has plugged my ears that has plugged my ears that has plugged my ears I declare in the name of Jesus I detach my soul from that power power in the name of Jesus Christ I detach my soul from that power in the name of Jesus Christ every power of enchantments that has plugged my ears I detach my soul from that power in the name of Jesus and I command my ears to open I command my ears to open I command my ears to open in the name of Jesus 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 command your ears to open command your spiritual ears to open Command your spiritual senses to be restored. Command your spiritual senses to be restored. Command your spiritual senses to be active in the name of Jesus. Command your spiritual senses to receive life in the name of Jesus. Command your spiritual senses to receive life in the name of Jesus. Command your spiritual senses. Command your spiritual senses to be opened in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Detach your soul from every power of enchantments that is plugging your ears. Detach your soul from every power of enchantments that is plugging your ears in the name.
name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, detach your soul from that power, in the name of Jesus, every power from the waters, every power from witchcraft, from sorcery, every power from the world of the dead, every power from the forest, from the cemetery that is plugging my ears, I detach myself from that power, in the name of Jesus Christ, I detach myself from that power, in the name of Jesus, I detach myself from that power, in the name of Jesus, I detach my soul from that power, I detach my soul from that power, I declare freedom, 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 in the name of Jesus, I detach my soul from that power, in the name of Jesus Christ, I detach my soul from that power, in the name of Jesus Christ, I detach my soul from that power, in the name of Jesus Christ, dearly beloved, who has bewitched your heart, who is manipulating your heart, who is pulling the strings of the decisions that you make, who is pulling the strings of the choices that you make, who is enchanting you, who has bewitched your heart, who manipulates you, who controls you at a distance, pray dearly beloved, every power of bewitchment that is hardening my heart, has transformed my heart into a heart of stone, I declare in the name of Jesus of Nazareth, may that power drink the blood of Jesus, 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 in the name of Jesus, every power of bewitchments that is hardening my heart, every power of bewitchments that has transformed my heart into a heart of stone, I declare in the name of Jesus Christ, I separate my heart from that power, I detach my soul from that power, I break that covenant, I break that soul tie, in the name of Jesus, I break that covenant, I break that soul tie, in the name of Jesus, I break that covenant, I break that soul tie, in the name of Jesus, I break that covenant, I break that soul tie, in the name of Jesus, I break that covenant, I break that soul tie, in the name of Jesus Christ, I break that covenant, I break that soul tie, in the name of Jesus Christ, I break that covenant, I break that soul tie, in the name of Jesus Christ, I break that covenant, I break that soul tie, in the name of Jesus Christ, I break that covenant, I break that soul tie, in the name of Jesus Christ, I break that covenant, I break that soul tie, in the name of Jesus Christ, I break that covenant, I break that soul tie, in the name of Jesus, 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 pray dearly beloved, no one will be able to stand against us as long as we live, for the Lord shall be with us, as he was with Moses, he will not fail us, nor will he abandon us, in the name of Jesus, pray dearly beloved, every power of bewitchments that is hardening your heart, that has transformed your heart into a heart of stone, so that you do not understand, so that you do not believe, pray in the name of Jesus for the power of the blood of the Lamb to destroy that power in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, command that power to drink the blood of Jesus, every power from my father's house, from my mother's house, every power from the house that I was born in, the house that I grew up in, the house of the covenants that has hardened my heart, that has transformed my heart into a heart of stone, so I do not understand, so I do not believe, so I do not accept, I declare in the name of Jesus, I command that power to drink the blood of the lamb, 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 in the name of Jesus, I separate my soul from that power, I separate my soul from that power, I detach my soul from that power, I detach my soul from that covenant, in the name of Jesus, I detach my soul from that power, I detach my soul from that covenant, in the name of Jesus, I detach my soul from that power, I detach my soul from that covenant, in the name of Jesus, I detach my soul from that power, I detach my soul from that covenant, in the name of Jesus, detach your soul, detach your soul, detach your soul, detach your soul, detach your soul from that power, detach your soul from that covenant, in the name of Jesus, detach your soul from that power, detach your soul from that covenant, in the name of Jesus, detach your soul from that power, detach your soul from that covenant, in the name of Jesus, ask for the Lord to give you a spirit of discernment, ask for the Lord to open your eyes, ask for the Lord to open your ears, ask for the Lord to place in you a new heart, a heart which is receptive, a heart which is tender, a heart which will accept, a heart which will believe the word of God, in the name of Jesus Christ, ask for the Lord to give you a heart of understanding, in the name of Jesus Christ, detach your soul from that power, 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 in the name of Jesus, every power which hardens your heart, every power which plugs your ears, every power which covers your eyes so that you do not see, so that you do not understand, so that you do not accept, pray in the name of Jesus, pray in the name of Jesus, pray in the name of Jesus, detach your soul from that power, detach your soul from that power, detach your soul from that power, detach your soul from that covenant, detach your soul from that covenant, detach your soul from that 
covenant in the name of Jesus. Detach your soul from that covenant in the name of Jesus. Detach your soul from that covenant in the name of Jesus. Detach your soul from that covenant in the name of Jesus. Detach your soul from that covenant in the name of Jesus. Detach your soul from that covenant in the name of Jesus. Detach your soul from that covenant in the name of Jesus. Detach your soul from that covenant in the name of Jesus. Detach your soul from that covenant in the name of Jesus. Detach your soul from that covenant in the name of Jesus. Detach your soul from that covenant in the name of Jesus. Pray daily, beloved. Every serpent mandated against me, every serpent mandated against my home, every serpent which has swallowed my eyes, which has swallowed my ears, every serpent which has swallowed my heart, every serpent which has swallowed my spiritual senses, every serpent which has swallowed up my discernment, my understanding, my revelation. The word of God says they'll vomit everything that they swallowed. God won't allow them to keep it down. Ask for the Lord to send his divine intervention, his powerful hand to remove everything that belongs to you, which is hiding in the belly of the serpent. Ask for the Lord. Ask for the Lord. Ask for the Lord to release everything of yours, which is imprisoned in the belly of the serpent. Ask for the Lord to release everything of yours, which is hidden in the belly of the serpent. The word of God says, powerful is his arm, strong is his hand. His right hand is lifted high in glorious strength. Ask for the Lord to send down his right hand, which is lifted high in glorious strength to enter into the belly of the serpent, to release your spiritual senses, to release your discernment, to release your understanding, to release your revelations, to release your dreams, to release your eyes, to release your ears, to release your heart. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, command that serpent to vomit everything that they swallowed. Command that serpent to vomit everything that they swallowed. Command that serpent to vomit everything that they swallowed. Command that serpent to vomit, to vomit, to vomit, to vomit, to vomit. In the name of Jesus, command that serpent to vomit up everything that they swallowed. In the name of Jesus, command that serpent to vomit up everything that they swallowed. In the name of Jesus Christ, every serpent from my father's house, every serpent from my mother's house, every serpent from the house that I was born in, the house that I grew up in, the house of the covenants who has swallowed up my discernment, who has swallowed up my understanding, my revelation, who has swallowed up my communion with God, who has swallowed up my eyes, my ears, my heart. I declare in the name of Jesus, I command that serpent to vomit. 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 In the name of Jesus, I command that serpent to vomit. I command that serpent to vomit. I command that serpent to vomit up everything that they swallowed. In the name of Jesus, command that serpent to vomit daily, beloved. Pray in the name of Jesus. The word of God says, I've given you authority over the serpent, over the scorpion, over every force and every power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt us. But don't rejoice because evil spirits obey you. Rejoice because your names are registered in heaven. The word of God says that we will crush fierce lions and cobras. We will trample fierce lions and serpents underneath our feet. In the name of Jesus Christ, command that serpent to vomit everything that they swallowed. Command that serpent to vomit everything that they swallowed. Command that serpent to vomit, to vomit, to vomit, to vomit, to vomit, to vomit everything that they swallowed. In the name of Jesus, command that serpent to vomit up everything that they swallowed. In the name of Jesus, every serpent who has swallowed up my dreams so that I cannot have any dreams, so that I cannot receive any messages from God, I command that serpent to vomit. I command that serpent to vomit. I command that serpent to vomit. In the name of Jesus, pray daily, beloved. The word of God says, in that day, the Lord will take his terrible swift sword and he will punish Leviathan, the swiftly moving serpent, the coiling rivering serpent. He will kill the dragon of the sea, chase down that serpent, chase down that serpent. The word of God says, we will chase down our enemies and we will slaughter them with our swords. Five of us will chase a hundred and a hundred of us will chase 10,000. Pursue the serpent with the sword in the name of Jesus. Strike down that serpent in the name of Jesus Christ. Strike down that serpent in the name of Jesus Christ. Pursue that serpent with the sword. Strike down that serpent with the sword in the name of Jesus. The word of God says his spirit made the heavens beautiful and his power pierced the gliding serpent pursue that serpent with the sword strike down that serpent with the sword strike that serpent with the sword every serpent of my father's house every serpent of my mother's house mandated against me in the kingdom of darkness mandated against me through covenants mandated against my home mandated against my family I command that serpent to receive the sword I command that serpent to be struck down in the mighty name of Jesus I command that serpent to be struck down in the mighty name of Jesus I strike down that serpent by 
by the sword in the name of Jesus Christ dearly beloved strike down that serpent in the name of Jesus serpent mandated against you serpent every, every serpent who has swallowed up your revelation who has swallowed up your understanding who has swallowed up your discernment who has swallowed up your relationship your communion with God command that serpent to receive the sword in the name of Jesus Christ strike down that serpent in the name of Jesus strike down that serpent in the name of Jesus strike down that serpent in the name of Jesus strike down that serpent in the name of Jesus strike down that serpent in the name of Jesus strike down that serpent in the name of Jesus strike down that serpent in the name of Jesus pray dearly beloved every agent who uses the power of the serpent against me to steal my eyes to steal my heart to steal my ears I declare in the name of Jesus may that serpent receive the sword 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 in the name of Jesus may that serpent receive the sword in the name of Jesus the word of God says I'll now bring against you a foreign army the terror of the nations they'll draw their swords against your marvelous wisdom they will defile your splendor they'll bring you down to the pit and you will die in the heart of the sea pierced with many wounds strike down that serpent in the name of Jesus Christ strike down that serpent in the name of Jesus Christ strike down that serpent in the name of Jesus Christ strike down that serpent in the name of Jesus Christ strike down that serpent in the name of Jesus Christ every agent who uses the power of the serpent to bewitch me who uses the power of the serpent to keep me entangled in enchantments to keep me manipulated to keep me confused and in doubt I command that serpent to receive the sword 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 in the name of Jesus every agent of my father's house of my mother's house every agent of the house of the covenant who hides in the waters who hides in the forest who hides in the symmetry who hides in the world of the dead who hides in the grave who uses the power who uses the power of the serpent to keep me manipulated to keep me confused to keep me in doubt to keep me enchanted I pray in the name of Jesus may that serpent receive the sword 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 strike down that serpent 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 in the name of Jesus command that serpent to receive the sword to receive the sword to receive the sword to receive the sword in the name of Jesus say you spirit of the serpent I declare in the name of Jesus from this day forth your mission in my life is ended your mission in my home is ended your mission in my family it is ended in the name of Jesus it is ended in the name of Jesus it is ended in the name of Jesus command that serpent to receive the sword command that serpent to receive the sword every hidden serpent who has a mission against me from my father's house from my mother's house every hidden serpent who has a mission against me from the house of the covenants who has enchanted me who has bewitched me who has enchanted me who has bewitched me who keeps me manipulated who keeps me confused and in doubt so I do not understand my life so that I do not understand my purpose so that I do not enter into my destiny I command that serpent to receive the sword 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 in the name of Jesus the word of God says that he will kill the dragon of the sea the word of God says he will bring against them a foreign army the terror of the nations they will draw their swords against their marvelous wisdom and they will defile their splendor he will bring them down to the pit and they will die in the heart of the sea pierced with many wounds strike down that serpent with the sword strike that serpent down with the sword of the Holy Spirit strike that serpent down with the sword 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 in the name of Jesus Christ strike that serpent down with the sword in the name of Jesus strike that serpent down with the sword in the name of Jesus Christ strike that serpent down in the name of Jesus strike down that serpent strike down that serpent strike down that serpent strike down that serpent in the name of Jesus the word of God says they are destined for the sword and they will kneel down to be slaughtered strike that serpent down in the name of Jesus Christ every serpent mandated against me from my origin every serpent mandated against me from the house of the covenants every serpent who has a mission against me I declare that in the, I declare in the name of Jesus may that serpent receive the sword 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 in the name of Jesus I strike down that serpent 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 in the name of Jesus I strike down that serpent in the name of Jesus I strike down that serpent in the name of Jesus I strike down that serpent in the name of Jesus I strike down that serpent in the name of Jesus I strike down 
that serpent in the name of Jesus I strike down that serpent in the name of Jesus I strike down that serpent in the name of Jesus I strike down that serpent in the name of Jesus I strike down that serpent in the name of Jesus I strike down that serpent in the name of Jesus I strike down that serpent in the name of Jesus Holy Spirit manifest your power 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 I made a serpent be destroyed I made a serpent be killed made a serpent be struck down I made a serpent's mission be ended in the name of Jesus Holy Spirit manifest your power manifest your power manifest your power dearly beloved begin to declare against all sickness all infirmity all terminal illness all critical illness every spirit of illness every spirit of illness that the enemy may send to you to make you sick declare against it in the name of Jesus declare against it in the name of Jesus declare against all sickness declare against all infirmity or disease declare against it in the name of Jesus send it back to the sender in the name of Jesus the word of God says in Psalm 91 verses 3 for he will rescue you from every trap and protect you from deadly disease declare against all deadly diseases that the enemy may send against you all deadly diseases that the enemy may send against your home declare against it Jeremiah 30 verses 17 says I will give you back your health and heal your wounds says the Lord for you are called an outcast Jerusalem for warm no one cares declare in the name of Jesus declare in the name of Jesus against all diseases in the name of Jesus the word of God says I will not make you suffer any of the diseases I sent on the Egyptians for I am the Lord who heals you in the name of Jesus Christ declare against all sickness declare against all sickness the word of course is in Psalm 103 verses 3 he forgives all my sins and heals all my diseases he forgives all my sins and heals all my diseases declare in the name of Jesus I will not be sick I will not be sick I will not be sick declare in the name of Jesus I am free in the name of Jesus declare in the name of Jesus I will not be sick in my home nobody will be sick in my home nobody will be sick in my home nobody will be sick we are protected by the blood of Jesus we are protected by the blood of Jesus we are covered by the blood of Jesus the word of God says in the first book of Peter chapter 2 verse 24 he personally carried our sins in his body on the cross so that we can be dead to sin and live for what is right by his wounds we are healed by his wounds we are healed by his wounds we are healed declare by the wounds of Jesus I am healed 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 declare I will not be sick I will not be sick I will not be sick you spirit of the serpent I will not be sick I will not be sick I will not be sick I renounce your covenant I renounce your covenant I renounce that soul tie I renounce that soul tie I renounce that soul tie I decline that soul tie in the name of Jesus I decline your agreement I decline your alliance I decline your covenant in the name of Jesus the word of God says but he was pierced for our rebellion crushed for our sins he was beaten he was beaten so that we could be whole he was whipped so that we could be healed declare in the name of Jesus that Jesus Christ was whipped so I can be healed I will not be sick I will not be sick I will not be sick Jesus Christ was already whipped in my place he was already pierced for my rebellion I will not be sick I will not be sick I will not be pi- I will not be sick I will not be sick Jesus Christ was crushed for my sins I will not be sick I will not be sick I will not be sick in the name of Jesus you deadly disease I stand against you you infirmity I stand against you you terminal illness you critical illness I stand against you I stand against you thus says the Lord God it shall not stand nor shall it come to pass the word of God says thus says the Lord God it shall not stand nor shall it come to pass it shall not stand nor shall it come to pass it shall not stand nor shall it come to pass it shall not stand nor shall it come to pass it shall not stand nor shall it come to pass sickness it shall not stand nor shall it come to pass the word of God says listen I have received the command to bless God has blessed and I cannot reverse it no misfortune is in his plan for Jacob and no trouble is in store for Israel declaring the name of Jesus no deadly disease and no sickness is in God's plan for me or my family in the name of Jesus I declare no deadly disease no sickness is in God's plan for me or my family in the name of Jesus declare I am free I am free I am free I am free declare I will not be sick I will not be sick in the name of Jesus I will not be sick in the name of Jesus I will not be sick in the name of Jesus the word of God says that Jesus traveled throughout the region of Galilee teaching in the synagogues announcing the good news about the kingdom and he healed every kind of disease and illness Jesus healed every kind of disease and illness declare I will not be sick 
I will not be sick. I will not be sick. I will not be sick in the name of Jesus. I will not be sick in the name of Jesus. I will not be sick in the name of Jesus. The word of God says in Job chapter 5 verses 18, for though he wounds, he also bandages, he strikes, but his hands also heal. Father in heaven, in the name of Jesus of Nazareth, we declare, may your hands heal us, Father in heaven. May your hands heal our homes, our families, in the name of Jesus Christ. May your hands heal us, Father. Your word says, Father, that you heal the broken hearted. You heal the broken hearted. You heal the broken hearted. You heal the broken hearted and you bandage their wounds in the mighty name of Jesus. Father in heaven, manifest your power. Holy Spirit, manifest your power. 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 Manifest your power in the name of Jesus. 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 Dearly beloved, begin to ask for the Lord to protect your home. Begin to ask for the Lord to protect your family. Begin to ask for the Lord to protect you on your way in the name of Jesus. Ask for the Lord to protect you in the mighty name of Jesus. Plead the blood of Christ to cover you, to shield you, to defend you, to fight in your favor in the mighty name of Jesus. Plead for the blood of Christ to shield your activities. Plead for the blood of Christ to shield the activities of your children in the mighty name of Jesus. Cover everything and everybody under the blood of Jesus in the name of Jesus Christ. The word of God says those who abide in the shelter of the Most High shall find rest in the shadow of the Almighty. Declare for the Lord to send down his protection upon your life. Declare for the Lord to send down his protection upon your family in the name of Jesus. Thank him. Give him praises. Give him worship. Begin to thank the Lord for this moment of prayer that he has allowed us to have thank him celebrate his name exalt his name glorify his name magnify his name lift up his name give allegiance to his name give honor and give glory to his righteous name give all the praises to his powerful name give him praises give him allegiance in the name of jesus father in heaven we thank you almighty god for you allowed us to come into your presence we thank you heavenly father for you allowed us to seek your face we thank you, Heavenly Father, for your divine intervention that you sent down through this prayer. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for your Holy Spirit, which was at work. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Your word says, Almighty God, that you confirm the words of your servants. Your word says, Heavenly Father, before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. And before you were born, I set you apart and I appointed you as a prophet to the nations. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray, Lord, that you answer all the prayers, Father, of your children who follow this prayer. We pray, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, that you manifest your power in our lives in the name of Jesus. And may somebody's ears be unplugged in the name of Jesus Christ. And may somebody's eyes be unblindfolded in in the name of Jesus Christ and may somebody's heart be transformed almighty God into a heart of flesh in the name of Jesus Christ heavenly father creator of the heavens and earth your word says anything that we ask for in the name of Jesus it shall be granted father in the name of Jesus hear our prayer father in the name of Jesus have mercy upon us father in the name of Jesus have compassion upon us father in the name of Jesus Christ fulfill your word in our lives in the name of Jesus we give you honor and we give you glory we commit this night into your hands we pray holy spirit that you speak to us we pray holy spirit that you revive our spiritual senses we pray holy spirit that you restore our spiritual senses we pray holy spirit that you restore your communion with us in the name of jesus your word says call to me and i'll answer and i'll tell you great mighty things that you do not know holy spirit of the lord spirit of understanding spirit of truth visit us in the name of jesus christ show us reveal to us the state of our hearts show us and reveal to us the state of our eyes and our ears in the name of jesus so that we can give glory to your holy name we thank you heavenly father we bless and we celebrate your holy name we give you all the honor and all the glory in the name of jesus of nazareth we pray amen